Hey guys, welcome back to The Juice. It's the fourth week of September, and have we got some news for you. Miley Cyrus sheds clothes and tears of iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas. Liberace's ex gets dissed big time while the cast of Behind the Candelabra sweeps up all of the gold. Yay! Emmy execs piss off actors and family by honoring Corey Monteith over actual Emmy Award Don't. winners. Stick around, you don't want to miss that. Who's making ways and who's getting paid? Who's just been dumped and who's getting laid? Who's been locked up and who's letting loose? You're about to find out because you're watching the juice. Whoa, you're watching the juice. All right, guys, let's get started. Let's jump right in. T. What do you got for us? So the iHeartRadio Music Festival was yesterday, Saturday, the 21st. Right. And Miley Cyrus was stage perform, as we all know, and she's been through some things lately. Uh -huh. um, besides uh -huh. just, you know, her career and drugs, she's also broke, or her um, marriage to Liam Hemsworth is officially off, we all learned. Where does she have time for all this? So, I, seriously, <laughs> that girl. So she performed, it was her, the premiere live performance of Wrecking Ball, right. which is the video with the sledgehammer on the Yes. And um, she cried during the performance. So people are, you know, assuming. <laughs> it's a very I, happy song. I'm so, so rich. I'm so rich. Everyone's paying attention well, to me. What everyone is thinking is that it's, it's tears for Liam because uh -huh. the song sounds very much like she's singing about what she went through with him. And, right. Um, I mean, it's all just assumed. We don't know. But I mean, it's it's so she's she's sad. You feel sorry for her. I feel That's sorry crazy. for her. That's crazy. I feel sorry for her. Go ahead. I think that that girl is crying crocodile <laughs> tears. She is not. Uh, she's not really on drugs. She's not really having a, me a breakdown emotional or mentally. She's not really that upset about Liam because it happened a week ago. So she were. She's not a human. I anymore. think she's no. I well. I think I she's a pop star. I think she's more interested in what those cries can. I mean, she. It's not like it's we saw her walking yeah. down the street in the corner like a mess. She was yeah. on stage in the on middle of stage. millions of people. Now I'll cry. Yeah, I know. Now it's good girl. And cute. Come on. Yeah. She's not crying she over her it. bank account. That's the thing yeah. for sure. Okay, this song is number one Thank and she you. knows what's going to get pressed. She's been doing this since she's like, what? 12? Yeah, she's a pro. She's and her, and her daughter was you know, grooming her for this. She's, I'm, I, she's genius. Whatever she's doing is working because everyone is talking about it's twerking. It. Every week, it's twerking. I can guarantee you Every next week. week she's going to do something else yes. to get her into the paper. She's, she We're may be crazy, that. but she's genius. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, that is it. What about you, girl? Scott Thornton's invitation to the Emmys goes up in smoke. This week, I am so excited about the Emmys because they are going to air, but last week were the creative Emmys where they right. nominate, all, nominate and honor all the people behind the scenes. Never uh, hello. Yeah. And it's not yeah, televised. Watch it, <laughs> it's not televised, but the writers always get uh, nominated at this. And this right. year, Behind the, behind the Candelabra, mm -hmm. which is the story, the movie and book about Liberace and his tumultuous relationship with Scott Thornton, his obviously ex, uh, Sparkly. Won, uh, <laughs> was nominated swept the Emmys uh, and won all Yay! of the awards, but all the categories, all the categories that it was nominated in totally swept. But the big problem is the writer, Scott Thornton, who was also a alleged drug addict, admitted drug addict and thief has been in and out of jail, just like Miley. He was not, he was uh, arrested last week. He's had crazy uh, personal battles, let's just say, but he was blacklisted, totally dissed from the awards and not invited. Burn. That's crazy. I'm like, you can't get all into people's personal issues. You know, if they wrote this Emmy Award winning, like, uh, was it a book or a screenplay? Or? It was a best selling book turned into a movie that was nominated yeah. with super, super huge stars Michael Douglas, right. Matt Damon, who all have gotten their Emmy nominations right. because then, of this. Then you should be invited. I mean, I who, who are the Emmy police? That, oh, you can't go. I want to see that, okay? If you are tweaking out of your mind, well, you know what? They don't televise it, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, because if he was tweeting, he would be in that front would, row. The camera would be like just waiting. <laughs> like, is he taking or be a crack pipe <laughs> on his plate instead of dinner? <laughs> he would be the new star. No more Miley. <laughs> what do you think? I think he should have been invited. I mean, that's some bull smack right there. I mean, he wrote 
the entire, it's, it's his baby, it's his idea, and they're gonna give it all his awards and be like, sorry, but you can't come. <laughs> we'll mail it to you. Pissed. Shady. That what is, is that about? Crazy. No. And very hippie. The so, Emmys yeah. have been super, super, super just yeah. dissy. While the Emmys have dissed one drug addict, they honor another. Well, let's keep talking about the Emmys because they've pissed off a lot of people. Uh -huh. um, apparently, while they're not allowing one drug addict to, you know, even come in a tent, they've decided to honor another. Now, I think, you know, it's sad, Corey Montag, you know, he died young, but it was a drug overdose. That doesn't make it right. But my point is, they're gonna honor him and they're gonna diss other Emmy Award winners, actual Emmy Award winners. Corey Monteith never won one. Uh, but Jack Klugman from The Odd Couple, he won three. He's not going to be honored. And so this doesn't sit well with a lot of actors and his son. He said Corey does not de de uh, deserve this award, and he went on and on and on. Corey Monteith's mom actually heard about this and said that's not true. My son, yes, he didn't win any awards, but he was very young, and he would have gone on to be great. What do you guys think? I, I don't know. I actually side with this with the son Adam on this. You know, I think that the Emmys, uh, it sounds like they should be honoring the body of work that the person has uh, contributed. Yeah. So, you know, I say if you're going to have five people, you might as well have six. Why not cram them all in and make them just like a little bit shorter? So, I mean, you know, yeah. it, it should we shouldn't totally erase what uh, what Jack Klugman. Klugman's uh, contribution, contribution has been. Right so, I think that they should... Honor both of them. I mean, I agree. They could have, you know, got the timing down right where they could have honored all of them. But I mean, it's, you know, probably a lot to do with you can't make everybody happy and this, that, and the third. And, and you know, at the end of the day, Ray, Corey has a huge fan base right now. Right. And it's about viewership. Years. True, that is true. It's about I mean, viewership. Think about the backlash and the Twitter that right. would have, the war that Twitter would have raged if, if they weren't doing anything. Right, right. I mean, I know I would have probably even been, I was even a fan, just not. Yeah. Honoring him anyway. The truth uh, is, the the people who actually watch The Odd Couple probably aren't going to be watching the Emmys anyway. Yeah, because they're, they're dead. <laughs> anyway, <Anyways, laughs> they're sleeping. <laughs> they don't have TV uh, in heaven. <clears throat> all right, well, that's all we have time for this week. But stick around for our Blue Michael Cosmetics Hottie of the Week segment after the jump. Hey, thanks for watching The Juice. And if you have any suggestions for topic of the week you want us to talk about, make sure you send us a message on our Facebook page, facebook.com backslash The Juice Web Series. And don't forget to like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any comments, make sure you let us know what they are. We want to hear from you, kid. Ow!